G'day. Welcome to another episode of the Krusty Bus Driver. Today what I want to do is talk about something that's fairly close to my heart and that is the English language. A lot of us stretch it, shorten it, butcher it, or the worst out of the bloody English. And uh, there's quite a few people that get on the bus that sometimes I just cannot understand. You know, most of the time it's just Kiwis. What was that, Cousy bro? No, you're all right, mate. But in Australia, we have a lot of people who don't speak all that clearly. And we call them a good Aussie name, and they're Bruce's. <laughs> so if someone comes up to you and goes, Oh, fucking fair, fuck. You go, yeah, Bruce, no worries, mate. <laughs> but seriously, what I want to bring up today is the way we say fuck a lot. Because today I'm going to be saying fuck a lot. Because that's what we tend to do here in Australia. We tend to replace many of our words just with the word fuck. I don't fully understand it myself, but I had a Bruce get on the other day and he goes, fucking dig it, mate. Yeah, no worries. Uh, we off to fuck a mechanic. Uh, where's the mechanic? Bah, fucking down a fucking road, mate. Right, no worries. So why off to the mechanic? The fucking fucker fucked me fucking fucking that's fucked. Right. So as you can see, he could make a full sentence out of the word fuck. And I understood every word he meant, especially when he was going to the mechanic. So in this country, we seem to do that a lot. Where's my fucking gun, man? Hey, Charlie, what are you doing back here? I just want my fucking gun, man. Uh, look, mate, I've got to um, use it in this episode, but uh, you can have it straight after the show. How's that? I want it fucking now, man. Yeah, like I said, mate, just wait till the show's over and it's all yours. You're a fucking troll, man. Uh, what was that, Charlie? Nothing, man. Nothing at all. Uh, sweet, man. Yeah, so after the show, it's all yours. Anyway... Getting back to what I was saying. So you can make a full sentence out of the word fuck, but the worst people are the road ragers. Like, the other day, I had this car cut in front of me, decide it was going to turn, I've slammed on the brakes, 30 people behind me have all face-planted the seat in front of them, so now they've all got these tattoos on their, well, these bruises on their head that look like tattoos that, I don't know, a Kiwi would pay good dollars for. Hey, bro. Tattoos on your head? Oh, sweet ass, man. Uh, yeah. And, um, <clears throat> so what happened was he's cut me off, made me break hard, and the next thing I hear is, oh, fuck, fuck, yeah, fuck, fuck, with the finger out the window. Because it really doesn't work, it doesn't have the same effect unless they've got the finger out the window. But the thing that got me was I didn't understand a word he said except for the word fuck. It sort of resonates above everything else, doesn't it? I mean, he's zooming past, abusing the hell out of me after he cut me off, yelling his little heart out, upsetting himself, but the only word I could ever catch was fuck. 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 And that was it. <laughs> you know, and it's bizarre. And this is how we as Australians butcher the English language by just replacing words with the word fuck. So, once we got past that, he turned the corner, I kept going. Passengers, all with bruises on their foreheads, come to the last stop. There's only two people left on the bus. Me Kiwi, mate. Hey, bro. <laughs> And his little mate, a little Canadian fella. And they were looking a little bit lost. I'm at the last stop, I'm about to go home. And they didn't quite know where they were. I said, hey boys, you know, uh, where you off to? Just wanna get some fushing chips, bro. I'm pretty hungry, man. I just wanna get six dollars sixty of them. You wanna get six sixty? Yeah, sorry, but look, what I'll do is uh, I'm on my way home. I'll take you down the pub, and I'll buy you some fish and chips down there. How does that sound? Hey, well, bro. Sweet as. Hey. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, mate. 
So I took them both down to the pub. Little Canadian boy tagging along with us. And when we get there, I get the barman to order some f fish and chips and uh, get three beers for us. So he puts the beers on the counter and they're asking me you know, to tell them some stories about what goes on on the buses. And I was telling them how last week I had Charlie Sheen on the bus and I stole his gun. So I grabbed the gun out of my bag and I put it on the bar so they could have a look. Well, Kiwi boy, he grabs his beer and he skulls it down, throws the glass in the air, grabs the gun off the bar, shoots the glass out of the air, and he looked at me and said, Hey bro, in New Zealand, we got so many glasses, it's so cheap, I don't have to drink out of the same glass twice. I thought, well, that was interesting, because I didn't even know if the gun was loaded or not. And then the little Canadian fella, he grabs his glass, skulls down his beer, picks up the gun off the bar, throws his glass in the air, shoots the glass out of the air, and looked at me and said, Man, in Canada, we got so much glass, it's so cheap, I don't have to drink out of the same glass twice. I'm thinking, shit couple of crazy boys here but I'm starting to get the hang of this game so what I did was I grabbed me beer sculled it down put the glass on the bar grabbed the gun shot the kiwi and looked at the Canadian and said mate in Australia we got so many fucking kiwis I don't have to drink with the same one twice <laughs> and on that note <laughs> I'll bid you farewell oh yeah by the way I didn't really kill the kiwi Bruce did. <laughs> but what I want to tell you is that um, next episode is going to be an Easter special and you just don't want to miss it. It's going to be a crack up. Catch you then. Hey, Charlie, you still there? Yes, I am, man. You got my gun? There's your gun, Charlie. You can have it back now. I'm all done. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. Fucking troll. See you next time. Driving along on the Easter special. Just getting my eggs. Yeah. Driving along on the Easter special. Hey, don't forget the keg. <laughs>